Among the world's vast oceans, there is one creature that is probably one of the most dangerous and unique life forms that swim in the ocean, the Chironex fleckeri, or, as most people have come to call it, the sea wasp. One of 19 species of box jellyfish, it is not only the largest of the bunch, but it is also the most deadly of them all. They mostly occupy the shores of Australia, more particularly the northern section. The sea wasp, like all box jellyfish, fall under the class of Cubozoa, so named for their cube-shaped medusa. The phylum that the box jellyfish belong to is the Cindaria. The origination of this phylum Cindaria occurred, according to the fossil record, approximately 540 to 580 million years ago during the Proterozoic era eon. The Cindaria fossils, amazingly, were among the first animal fossils ever recognized. Now, there is one trait that appears to appear in all classes or species that belong to Cindaria. It is the fact that they all contain syndocytes or nematocytes, which are venomous cells used for catching prey or used as a defense mechanism. And also, all Cindaria are marine life. To this day, the sea wasp and the other box jellyfish are considered the most sophisticated and evolved jellyfish of the phylum. Chironex fleckeri is the largest of the box jellyfish. Their bell can grow about to the size of a baseball, and their tentacles can grow up to three meters in length. The box jellyfish has a radial symmetry, even though, I don't know, someone could argue it has a bilateral symmetry, it is considered to be radial. What this means is that the sea wasp can cut into many different equal pieces, which will look exactly the same as the others. The sea wasp is almost impossible to find. In the water, they are virtually invisible, completely transparent with the ocean world around them, making them harder to find by predators and unknown prey. One of the most sophisticated features of the sea wasp is its ability to swim. Most ordinary jellyfish would just float around and go wherever the current takes them. The sea wasp, however, can get, has gained the ability to swim at speed and at speeds reaching 3 to 3.5 knots per hour. It spends most of the day swimming and hunting prey, and at night it rests on the ocean floor. Some could call this sleeping. The tentacles of the sea wasp are lined with nematocytes. All jellyfish have these, but this is no ordinary jellyfish. The poison of the box jellyfish are the most lethal poison in the entire animal kingdom. The sea wasp is a carnivore and preys usually on small fish, shrimp, and even other jellyfish. When a life form comes in contact with the tentacles of the sea wasp, the numerous nematocytes that line the tentacles fire instantly, injecting the lethal poison into the body of the prey. The poison of the sea wasp is designed to kill the prey instantly because if the prey is not neutralized quickly, the sea wasp will be hurt and possibly be killed. Now, it is because of this toxin that has caused the death of 5,567 people since 1954. Most of these deaths were caused by the Chironex fleckeri. If a human is stung by a sea wasp, the effects are not instantaneously, uh, instantaneous like with smaller prey, but you will start to feel the effects of the sting after about five minutes. If not treated immediately, death is certain. Now, some people who are stung will not even be able to make it back to shore to alert people that they have been stung, because people, because people might go into cardiac arrest from the uh, toxin and drown. There is a cure for this poison, but people might not be able to get it in time. So, if you get stung, you have a limited amount of time to get help before it is too late and you die. If you are stung, and you do make it back to short and get help, it is essential for you to pour vinegar over the sting for about 30 seconds. This will neutralize any unfired stingers and, you and allow you to remove the tentacle with ease. If you do not wish to get stung while swimming, it is recommended that you swim inside the nets designed to keep these type of jellyfish out of, out at the beaches. If there are no nets and you are paranoid about getting stung, there are special clothing that you can wear to prevent stings, mostly. And finally, the sea wasp is a very interesting eye configuration. It has a total of 24 eyes. Each side is a cluster of these eyes. 16 of these eyes are only used for light detection and are very sensitive to light. However, on each side there is a pair of very complex eyes. These advanced eyes contain lenses, retina, iris, cornea, 
And the cool thing is, they're all compact into an eye that is only 0.1 millimeters in diameter. Box jellyfish has an incomplete digestive system, which means simply that the same opening used for intake of food also is used to remove the waste produced by the jellyfish. Uh, the box jellyfish also has no specialized circulatory system inside the gastrovascular cavity where, for, where killed prey is brought to be digested. There is a gastrodermal lining which helps with the digestion and absorbs nutrients into the jellyfish. Now, the box jellyfish also has no specialized respiratory system, among other things. However, this does not mean the jellyfish doesn't breathe. The skin of the jellyfish is so small the specialized respiratory system is not really required. So, it is able to gain all the oxygen it needs by diffusing oxygen from the water, allowing oxygen to flow through the body to anything that requires oxygen. One could say the entire body of a box jellyfish breathes. The box jellyfish will travel up rivers or creeks near the ocean where they were born. They spawn by a male releasing sperm into the water and a female releasing unfertilized eggs. Once the eggs are fertilized, they turn into planilea larvae, which will swim for sometimes up to days until settling down in the bottom of a creek bed, turning into a polypus in order to find a good place to grow. They will crawl for a few days until they find a nice area that they find suitable for survival. Now, this is one of the more interesting things about the sea wasp, because in normal jellyfish, they just settle down on the bottom and don't move. The fact that it is able to move to a location where food concentrations are better is a huge, huge advance advantage. Once the polypus have found a prime location, it binds itself to the rock bed. Then, the tiny polypus starts filter feeding on plankton, and then the polypus buds off an extra polypus. Each polypus will then perform metamorphosis into a single miniature box jellyfish, which is called a medusa. With about as small as 1.5 millimeters in size, w size, which will then begin to grow and develop into a much larger box jellyfish. These small jellyfish make their way to the creek, the mouth along the sandy beaches, until they reach the ocean and begin their life. One of the closest relatives of the sea wasp is the Urukanji jellyfish, which also belongs to the Cubozoa class, but is very, very different from most Cubozoans. The Urukanji jellyfish's bell is only about 12 millimeters to 25 millimeters in length, and its tentacles are anywhere from 5 centimeters to 1 meter, making it the smallest jellyfish in the world. While most Cubozoans sting it is fatal, this jellyfish's sting is not lethal, most of the time, but causes ir a thing called Irukandji syndrome, which is rarely fatal, but it is one of the most painful things anyone can ever endure. Other relatives of the sea wasp is the sea anemones and the Portuguese man of war. But after all of this, after all we've learned, they are nothing compared to the Chironex flex. <laughs>